गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन दिस इज जाता हेयर वी आर गोइंग टू कॉन्टिन्यू आर सेकेंड टर्म सिलेबस वेलकम वंस अगेन आफ्टर विंटर वोकेशन सो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद आर पॉइंट द नाइट एंगल एंड द ग्लोब वॉम दैट इज द चैप्टर नंबर ट्वेंटी दिस इज रिटर्न बाय विलियम कॉपर वॉज बॉर्न इन इंग्लैंड वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंग्लिश पॉइंट ऑफ हिस्स टाइम Copper changed the direction in 18th century by nature poetry writing about everyday life. Ah, uh, once he saw the scene of glowworm and the word. Look at this picture. One word is sitting on a shrub, and ah, uh, with the shrub, a glowworm, who is an insect, ah, uh, was holding itself with this shrub. This bird. is having a melodious voice and this bird sings all the day known as night angel and this glowworm is in a quick repetitive active uh, insect and who always thinks very fast and sometime this thinking save him okay so this bird uh, is making the people enjoyable with this village uh, you can see this is the outer side of the village okay where number of shrubs and trees are there where a bird sit uh, can sit and sing with a joyful nature so there are some word meanings you have to write on your notebook dear student it will be easy to go through with the poem so let's start with the poem the night angel who is an a bird and the globe worm who is an a insect A nightingale that all day long had cheered the village with his song, nor yet at eve his not suspended, not yet when even tide was ended, began to feel as well as as well he might the keen demand of appetite. Okay, appetite means hunger, is fine. So this nightingale sings all the day till. evening he did not stop they are sing he is singing and uh, he always sing with his melodious voice so at eve is not suspended means stop singing when it was evening nor yet when even tide was ended okay when the evening just ended it became dark so till the time he sing begin to feel as well he might jab tak like he feel uh, that time he sings the keen demands of appetite he feels hungerness when looking eagerly around the bird started looking here and there he spied far off upon the ground a something shining in the dark he noticed that there is something which is shining as a uh, name defined the globe worm that is an insect which glows at night okay which glows shine in the dark and knew the globe worm by his spark due to his shining he get to know that so stopping down from thorn top thorn means kind of shrubs he come down he thought to put him in his crop crop means in the stomach he wants to eat them who wants to bird wants to eat glowworm okay the worm aware of his intent here worm get to know that what he wants to do what is his purpose that he wants to eat that time hanger him thus right you can did you admire my lamb caught he he said do you admire my lamb as much as i miserly he started the praise of singing miserly means singing okay at that time even bird knows that that this is a creature of the earth we should not harm each other we all knows that but at this time instant he knows that you would abhor to do me wrong he said that you are going to dislike me you are going to hate me to do this wrong thing as much as i to spoil your song if i stop your song i spoil your song you are going to think that i am wrong for the was the same self same power divine the similar power i have taught you to sing 
and me to shine like you can uh, sing and i can shine we both have different powers but the similar given by god that you with music i with light in this basically poem wants to tell in these paragraphs that the similar we have a warring fractions that the poet wants that fraction that mutual respect should be there for both of them nightingale and the glow worm at this time that god provided us different special talents that beauty and cheer the world after hearing this speech the nightingale also agreed with the points which was made by glow worm okay as a result it let me the glow worm go and had something else for supper what he want to make understand that you have different power for singing i have a different power for shining we are both the creature of god so we should not harm each other you feel bad glow worm said to bird that you feel bad if i destroy while you are singing so you should not eat me you should find something different for your supper then might beautify and cheer the night the songster heard his short oration and rubbing out his approbation released him as my story tells and found a supper somewhere else so as i told you should leave me because we are the creature of earth so both having a different quality you should find your supper means dinner somewhere else okay so rabbling out is approbation singing out praise okay admiring something so this is all about the poem in which uh, two god creature praise roles bird and insect i hope you clear with the both conversation whole day singing by bird which is having a delicious voice and insect is going to be harmed by bird because bird wants to eat as an a supper so while having a quick decision quick thinking he made a different uh, way of telling to the bird this is all about the poem so dear students uh, this is the back exercise of this chapter i'm going to send you in your homework okay thank you